Hey everybody, I'm back on the Big Block Mopar project tonight, and I'm going to check out the distributor timing real quick before I get to the cylinder head and intake installation. Uh, it's easier to get in here, uh, so I thought I'll at least do a quick installation. Uh, I've got an intermediate shaft, a new one that I bought. I bought a new distributor, and uh, we're just going to do a kind of a trial fit up and see how everything goes. Later, I'm going to pull the intermediate shaft back out, and we're going to prime the oil pump uh, you know, using the drill motor before we start this. But that could be a long time down the road because I have a lot of other stuff to do on that Barracuda sitting there. All right, well, um, I guess first things first, let's check out what I've purchased. I've got the Proform uh, Mopar distributor kit. And here's the uh, box that came in. Uh, let's see here if we can get the part number on that. 66995. All right, it comes with an electronic control unit. It comes with a new ballast resistor. No, that's going to get installed on the car. And uh, I got this nice, I think from 440 source, uh, intermediate shaft, and it's a pinned one. So this one, I guess, uh, no worries about it slipping. It's got a through, through pin that goes right through the shaft and holds this gear in place. So I've got that. I put a little bit of lube on it and uh, pretty much ready to, to stick this together. So the first thing you want to do is uh, set up your timing, uh, get to top dead center or close to it on your compression stroke. So as you remember with the four stroke, you've got uh, intake, compression, then where the spark occurs, and then the power and the exhaust. So your number one piston, this furthest forward cylinder on the driver's side um, is gonna be where you wanna check the, that you're on the right uh, stroke of that piston. So the first lifter bore is the exhaust valve and the second one is the intake valve. So that's what you wanna be watching. You wanna make sure that the intake valve has just actuated and the exhaust valve, you can see the lobe is just gonna start coming around on that next. So we'd be at the point where this would spark, the power would occur as this thing rotates, that exhaust valve would come up and you'd start the cycles all over again. All right, so again, you're looking at those first two, it goes exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. And you can verify that by looking at your cylinder head. So the cylinder head, exhaust is first, and then you see Intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, intake, and then finally an exhaust port. So that's the order. Uh, in case you forget, you can just take a look at that. And um, yeah, well, let's get after it. So the first thing you want to do is check the instructions that come with either your cam or uh, the distributor related to timing. So I've got a Hughes cam. And this is what it's telling us for the timing. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit so you could read what's at the bottom. With the engine on the compression stroke on cylinder one, uh, set the crankshaft to 10 or 12 degrees before top dead center, uh, as shown above. Big block over here, 10 to 12. Okay. Um, you know, install the distributor so the rotor's just past the number one cylinder terminal on the cap as shown. Now, there's different types of distributors. You know, there's uh, points ignition, there's electronic distributors. Um, there's a bunch of different styles, but I'll show you the one I have, and I think we'll be able to get it set up darn close to what they're saying. So I do have it brought around to about mm, 10 to 12 degrees before top dead center. Sorry, there might be some reflection there, but zooming in. Okay, and now we want to get the uh, the rotor on that distributor in about the five o'clock position. So looks like they want it in the five o'clock position. And on a big block Mopar, I think that's quite typical. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two is the firing order. It's going to spin as it shows here counterclockwise. All right. So in order to do that, um, this is going to fit in here like so. And having that at the five o'clock position, Kind of get in place here like this, a little closer on. Okay. What you want to do is check how the, the bottom of it looks, the blade. So it's going to be pretty close to parallel with the uh, center line of the engine. Okay. That's going to be about where it's at. 
And I've seen that before, at least when it's at top dead center, the uh, intermediate shaft gear is going to be pretty close to parallel. So here's a close up of that, how it looks. It's got a hex head at the bottom that fits down in the oil pump. And it's got helical cut gears up here. So those are gonna go in and turn. And you're gonna want this to be relatively straight. Now, this thing's rotating counterclockwise and we are a little bit before top dead center. So it's probably gonna look about like this. And then as we came up on top dead center, it would be pretty straight. Okay, well, let me pan the camera out here a little bit. And when you get to installing this permanently, you know, after you've primed the engine, um, you know, basically with a tool that looks like this and is gonna spin the oil pump, uh, you're gonna want to put lube all over that uh, surface there all over the gears and make sure it's thoroughly lubed. For this trial, I guess just a little bit of light lube is fine. That's the black you see on there. I used some assembly lube. And just kind of work that down, put a drop of oil on it if you need to. And you'll see it kind of turn and fit into place. Um, and if for some reason it doesn't go with your oil pump, all you have to do is get a, an Allen wrench, a 5 16 Allen, and, you know, run that down in there and just give it like a, maybe like a 12th of a turn, just enough so that that hex will, you know, find its way. All right, so I'll pull that back out. Maybe I can zoom in even more. See how it rotates? As it goes down on the helical gears. The lighting's not the best. Let's see here if I can get a better angle. I guess when I put my hand in there, it's blocking a little bit of the light, what's available. There you can see the gears. So as they start to mesh, this thing's turning. And once it goes all the way down, it's pretty straight there. Okay, well, let's see how that is. We'll put the distributor in. And see how it looks. So that first step is trying to get that little rotor pointing to uh, the five o'clock position. So you can put a little bit of oil on the o-ring. It'll fit into the block a little bit easier. Okay and just kind of work that down in there. Yeah that's good. It's seated all the way here. Okay. Looks pretty good. And looking straight on, I think that's where we want it. And you know, if you're off by a tooth, just pull the gear up, let it rotate back around. Um, here's the diagram. You want it pointing there. Okay, the next step, uh, you can see relative to this tab here where this rotor is. My uh, vacuum advance is kind of pointing straight up, a little bit to the right, I guess. Uh, it should be fine. Uh, you aren't going to want it over here into the intake, and I can show you that in a minute. You're going to have basically eight choices on the cap, um, or just a couple. So this thing uh, has a cutout in it right there. Okay, that's going to go with this. So that's going to go on here like so. Okay, just like that. Now, um, see if I can come down here and get a better look without this falling off. Maybe I'll snap it on. Okay. I rotated it just a hair, but I think it's still close enough. Okay. And from this angle down here, See if you guys can get a look at that. So this mark here is basically where the uh, pickup is going to be on the cap, that white mark. I put that on there. And then this black mark I put in about that 5 o'clock position. So we're all lined up nice. And I'm going to just zoom out, take this cap off, and let you take another look at that. And we'll pretty much be good for now. We're going to put a little mark on the top. 
careful your cap doesn't go flying when you pop off the clips. Sometimes they'll want to take off on you. So again, I put a little mark on here to what I wanted to be the number one spark plugs. We'll go one eight four three six five seven two. We're going to order it like that. And then I have that little mark here on the side of this that lines up with the, that rotor. And then as another double check, you'll see that there's eight sharp uh, teeth on this gear, if you will. It's coming around and there's a little pickup on this side. And you can see it's just breaking that uh, connection there. So that's when this is gonna wanna throw the spark at that number one uh, cap uh, provision. So there we go. Um, that's how we're gonna set it up. I think it's real close. So the last thing I'm gonna wanna do is just put a little bold mark here on the top. And that way when we get around to installing it, we'll be darn close to being on the money. Um, okay, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, I've got the cam really lubed up in there. I got that uh, driven special cam lube it came with. Um, I, I spun that around, got all kinds of lube on every one of those lobes. I mean, you, you gotta just basically use that whole packet that they give you. Um, I did put a little bit on the uh, fuel pump lobe, don't forget that. Um, the gears, I've used a different brand of assembly lube. Uh, it's a little bit more, I don't know, black of a product, but not that the color matters. Um, the driven stuff is maybe just a little bit more tacky than the uh, other product I put on the gears. So, okay. Um, I think that's it. That's what we wanted to accomplish. And uh, now I'm going to pull this stuff back out. And we're going to go ahead and get going on the cylinder heads on the next video. And we know where the distributor needs to go. In fact, I'm going to pull this thing back out, this gear, and we're going to prime the, uh, the engine. Well, maybe I'll leave it in for now. Uh, but we're going to be priming the engine before it started with a, a drill motor turning counterclockwise. All right? Okay. Hey, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya!